Well, it was a long trip from uh, Olympia to Lake Havasu City, but we are here. The last leg was uh, from Las Vegas, uh, a couple of hundred miles, maybe a little less. Anyway, so stick around, watch the video clear to the end, and you'll see us yahooing all around Lone Tree Peak. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, hi friends, it's Papa Dale here, and Bandit and I are out taking a walk here at uh, Lone Tree Peak and BLM Campground, Lone Tree Campground. Uh, I was here before, oh, not quite a year ago, but uh, some of you weren't uh, subscribers then, weren't viewers then, so I'm uh, showing you a little bit more around the campground. Down below me, you can see the campground. You can see the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon there is uh, the closest rig here. I parked way in the back. And uh, you can look out into the distance there and, and you can see the wonderful Arizona mountains and wilderness. And out in the extreme far distance, you can see the California mountains uh, because, of course, in between here and there is the Colorado River and that is the border uh, between Arizona and California. And so uh, looking off this way a little bit, uh, I think you can see the, uh, the crab claw. Maybe not, maybe I gotta go, no, I think you can see the cl crab claw over there. And uh, that is a uh, very famous uh, feature, mountain feature, around Lake Havasu City. Um, just the other side of that crab claw is uh, another BLM campground called uh, called Craggy Wash. And a lot of a lot of campers like to camp over in that direction. So Bandit and I are uh, just out taking a little walk and uh, give you a little quick 360 here of of uh, where we're at a little bright this direction because uh, shooting right into the Sun and then uh, right back here is Lone Tree Peak it goes way up there a couple thousand feet last time Bandit and I were here Papa climbed Clear to the top, well, almost to the top, maybe uh, 25 or 30 feet or so from the top. To get up to the very, very top, uh, you got to be uh, a real uh, uh, climbing mountain goat or something, or have uh, mountain climbing gear or something. Uh, but it wasn't something that this old man wanted to do. I got almost to the top and had a great time doing it. Well, anyway, that's enough for the 360. Let's go on a walk here. Well, Bandit and I have hiked ways out here into the wash. And it uh, gets pretty desolate up here. But uh, never seems to get so deep that you can't find places where people have camped, built a fire ring, and and set up a van or a 4x4 or a tent and just had a nice, quiet, peaceful time camping out into the wonderful Arizona desert. And it is wonderful. Just look at this. Look out there. That is just awesome man I spent all those months back home in Yelm and I sure like Papa's place there it's uh, kind of boring uh, waiting to get my RV repaired and upgraded don't have a whole lot of major stuff left to do on it so uh, I don't think I'm gonna be spending a ton of time there anymore but uh, it sure is wonderful to get out here in the Arizona desert and just glory in this wonderful, wonderful desert landscape. <laughs>
Hey, Bandit. Come here. Come here, Bandit. You want to say hi to the people? Huh? You want to say hi to the people? Well, hi to the people. I'm the Bandit, and, and I'm out here just sniffing on things, and I'm peeing on things. And Oh, wait a second. I got to go over here and check this out. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I'll come back, and I'll say bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Havasu. <laughs> Hi, friends. Well, it's just Papa and the Bandit. Hey, Bandit. What are you doing down here, Bandit? Hi, Papa. Um, I'm just sniffing and watering and my doing my usual thing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. We're out uh, going for a walk in the uh, Arizona desert countryside. You can see behind me the kind of land we're hiking through. And see in the distance there the uh, crab claw that separates Lone Tree BLM from uh, Craggy Wash BLM and you can see the beautiful mountains and beautiful landscape out in the Arizona high desert. Yes sir, well we're having a good time just out for a, a morning constitutional. <laughs> That's uh, Highway 95 that goes from Interstate 40 uh, on into Lake Havasu City. Eh, roughly 20 miles in distance, but it travels through some beautiful countryside. See, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just a highway through beautiful country. And here's a real good picture of the crab claw. I don't know if it has a real name or not. I know a lot of RVers refer to it as a crab claw. So I guess I will too. <laughs> I'm not climbing up there though. <laughs> no way! That's wonderful Arizona mountains there. An interesting feature right here. I mean, not earth shattering, but you see it quite frequently. But it's interesting if you're not familiar with the desert. It's this gulch right here is a wash, which means that when you get heavy rain, it probably gets fairly full of water. We just did have some rain around here and I would imagine, in fact I've seen some of the some of the uh, wash, parts of the wash on some of Bandits and my hikes that still had little wet spots and uh, what you might even describe as uh, small pools. So you know when it was raining hard that they had uh, they had good water flow coming down from some of these that basically are just runoff from those mountains. Beautiful place, Arizona. It, the desert is so interesting, especially if, like me, you're from the Pacific Northwest or somewhere up north where there really is no desert and you're just used to green forests and trees. <laughs> So why am I focusing in right down in the bottom of this gulch? Well, it's because right there 
in the middle of that screen is a scraped out campsite. Boy, that looks cool. That really looks inviting. I'd love to be able to get down there and camp. My Class C is not going to make it down this very steep hill. Now, the tracker would if I want to load up my tent and my sleeping bag and and leave the Millennium Falcon up here at the top in the more civilized <laughs> campground and drive down there. My tracker would make it down there real easy. But what a great place to camp. Like if you had a, a 4x4 van, if you were a van dweller, that would really be cool. Just look right, looking right out from the flap of your tent. You'd be looking right up at Crab Rock Mountain, <laughs> whatever it's called. But what a cool campground that is. I really, I really like that. Where'd it go? There it is. I really like that campground or that camp spot. <laughs> That's probably 60 feet down from where I'm standing. Pretty deep wash. Pretty steep cliff too. There you can see my shoes. There's the edge. And very nearly straight down. This guy pulled up and parked right in the middle of the lot yesterday where his nose is pointed right now there were a couple of van dwellers that were sharing a tent between them and he parked up right behind them and totally blocked their view to the north but they were really nice they didn't complain and when they left this afternoon, they actually even told him that they were leaving and they wouldn't be back and that he was welcome to move into their spot. Well, he, for the last hour, has been circling all around this circle here, which is kind of a cul-de-sac at the end of the driveway into the Lone Pine BLM, Lone Tree BLM campground area. Just, he'll get in and he'll circle and he'll park it in almost the exact same spot. And then he'll get out, walk around, and he's not happy with that. And then do it all over again. At least an hour, maybe more, he's been doing that. Now, this last time, he pulled out and he pulled down... Behind that red pickup over there, the guy in that fifth wheel is a buddy of his. At least he goes in there and, and spends time with him quite frequently. And and they both jumped in the red pickup and went somewhere uh, this morning. So he pulled up into that empty space behind that red pickup. And I thought, well, okay, he's finally found a place that's going to make him happy over next to his buddy. And uh, nope, after about 10 minutes there, he's back over here trying to still figure this out over on the edge of the lot here. Strange, strange deal. <laughs> I, I just, I don't get it. <laughs> so, 
this guy in this class A, I guess he's finally settled into the spot that he's in. He hasn't moved it now in about 20 or 30 minutes. So the only thing I'm wondering now is what's next? <laughs>